Hello everyone, my name is Luchara, and this is Eco Single Player. This is my Let's Play series, another episode. We are all set up uh, to smelt iron, except we don't have our tailing storage uh, ready to go yet. So that's going to be our main goal for, you know, at least the first part of this video. Let's get our tailing storage, st tailings storage set up. Words are hard. English, it's English Luchara. Um, so once you get that set up, then we'll do iron smelting proper, and that will open up uh, a whole bunch of other things for us. We can get the anvil, we can get the, might go cast iron stove and start cooking. So here's our iron vein. We've already uh, bit into it a little bit. There's still quite a bit left. I know it goes, this is the hole we dug to find out where the iron vein is, so I'm assuming this is just going to be all iron, which would be great. And then we're going to do tailing storage down here. So we've already got a good start on it. Uh, we want to go down to, I think we're going to go down to about 30. So we're down to uh, 35 on the Z-axis now. So we're going to go down another five ramps, and then we'll dig out a, uh, a storage area. And then, uh, yeah, once that's done, we'll uh, start processing iron, and that will open up a whole new world of possibilities for us. So that is the goal for today. Buckle up. All right, quick update time. We... Uh, changed our ramp here we took the wood section out made it all stone and we also put an extra little branch in i don't know why i was going around every time to get to my mine shaft i probably should have done this a long time ago i mean it doesn't save that much time but it saves some but yeah so that's done we're almost ready for stockpiles down here for tailings um and i just want to ask everybody a quick question if you've been watching this series especially since the start this question is for you um do you like how often I put in cuts, like how much I cut out? Because I got a comment in one of my old videos that somebody thought I was cutting too much of, you know, the labor out. So I'm just wondering if other people agree with that or if they like how much I'm cutting. Just let me know in the comments, um, you know, if you'd like me to cut less or more out or if I'm cutting the right amount out. So yeah, so we're almost ready. We've got to finish pulling out these. And then we're going to dig out two down. And we're ready to put in a stockpile. We're also going to do it over here eventually. I'm just going to do one now first so we can, uh, so we can get started on, uh, on smelting some iron and making a, what is it called? Oh, and, uh, an anvil and all kinds of good stuff. So yeah, looking forward to it. We are almost there. So I will be back. Now let's get this closer. Oh, no, wait. Now we got to dig down. Never mind. This is where it should be. All right, good talk. I'll be back. All right, we are almost ready to put in a stockpile and start actually smelting iron or making making tailings and smelting iron. We are almost ready. I am looking forward to it. Just got to finish this one row. Beautiful. Get over here, you. Get out of here. Filled our cart up. Drop in a stockpile. Beautiful, look at that. It is ready. It's at level 29. Or 30, I guess, but that works. That's fine. So that should be good. We can put our tailings there. And like I said, as that fills up, we'll put one here as well. And when that fills up, we'll dig this way and make some more. All right, so I'm going to take this uh, limestone back up the base. And then we're going to come back and get iron. And we're going to start working on iron awesome all right so we got a bunch of iron in our stockpile time to uh time to crush it here we already crushed some earlier when we when we didn't realize exactly all the steps we needed to do but we'll crush some more here all right so that is set to crush and then you take the crush stuff over here and concentrate it so we will queue up everything we have which is 15 that will take quite some time 11 minutes 10 for that 11 for that so we're gonna let that cook well look at it I guess it is called a rocker box for a reason right and I might get seasick if I keep looking at this so then when that's done we put it in here oh we need fuel for this so we'll uh, use wood because that's really all we have I think and we'll smelt some iron so one concentrated becomes three iron bars, okay. So that's not bad. 
We should be able to make the anvil for sure. Get some hewn logs, yeah. All right, well, while this stuff cooks up, I am going to go cut down a few trees, fuel this up. I'm going to throw a little bit of a uh, couple of hewn logs in here just so we have them. And yeah. Oh, and uh, you know, we got iron concentrate and we got tailings. Which one are which? Wet tailings, yeah. So we'll have to, uh, and I'm not going to. I'm not going to take them out now. I'll wait till this is done and that there's a full load and I'll take them down. But yeah, I doubt they're going to pollute that quick. Let's take a look here. Where is the pollution? Air pollution, none. Debris, none. Ground pollution. So it makes ground pollution. So it's not even showing up yet. Player activity. Oh yeah, we got player activity. Player trampled. Yeah, I definitely trampled that. Guilty. Guilty as charged. Alright, so that's all good. We will be back whenever those are done. So I was over at the kiln. And I noticed there's a recipe for charcoal. It's a fuel. It says 20,000 joules. But it takes 4 wood. But if you look in here. Wood is 4,000 joules. So you're gaining 4,000 joules by turning it into charcoal, right? So yeah, uh, now we don't have any close enough, but let's pull these out. Oh, well, let me, okay, there we go. So we're gonna, obviously we're gonna make some charcoal instead because it's better than wood. So we need to put this wood. Is there any room in here? Nope. There's room in there. So that should be close enough. So let's order up another one. Wow, charcoal takes a long time to make. Alright, so we're going to use that to fuel this thing eventually. So our rocker box is done. So now we're just on this step. So we will make the maximum amount. 15. Wow, 30 minutes. Takes a long time to smelt iron. Alright, well in the meantime, let's grab our cart. We're going to take the tailings down to the tailing storage. And I mean, while we're down there, we might as well grab another load of iron, right? Pretty much every time we go down, might as well get uh, two birds stoned at once while we're there, right? Alright, so, where is our cart? Right here, so we can just drag it. Yep. All right, let's take them down before they uh, before they pollute. See is down in the hole. So I realized as I came down the ramp that I actually wanted the stockpile in this way one more. So I'm gonna clear this wall out and move the stockpile, and I'm gonna have to. Uh, I guess I'll just get some road pieces to fill in these two rows once the stockpile's moved over. That's my bad, but not a huge deal we can fix that I just want to have space so I can easily turn around my cart when I'm down here I don't want to have to fight fight with it you know what I mean so yeah I wanted it five wide because the ramps only three wide I wanted it five wide but I accidentally cut off <laughs> what it was supposed to be part of the path so that's my bad so let's fix that and then we'll uh We'll drop these tailings off and grab some more iron. Although we're not going to have that much space for iron because we got a bunch of limestone. Although not that much limestone, it's just that much. Alright, so let's move this over. There. Alright, tailings be gone. Beautiful. I love it exactly what we want so yeah that's we're gonna fill that fairly quick though honestly that's what about I don't know 15% maybe full already anyway that's fine it's all good we'll fill it up and then we'll, we'll make another one if we have to 
not a big deal. See how tight it is to turn around right here, right now? I want that extra. Oh, see, my cart almost went in the hole. <laughs> That's why I want it one wider there. So we're going to go grab some roadblocks and we'll fix that. <laughs> fix that right up. And yeah, we'll go from there. So I was just thinking, if I'm coming back down here with the roadblocks, I might as well rip all this up and replace it with roads as well. It means I didn't have any room for iron. I'm almost full. Because I'd also like to take pull up the blocks up here too and the on the turnpike the hairpin i guess hairpin turn here if i could got room the cart for these as well replace these with road blocks just to speed up you know the going up and down process a little bit i don't think i can quite get all these but i should be able to get most of them and yeah and we'll come back we'll load the cart up with road blocks we'll come back down and we'll uh make our subsequent trips that much quicker this is the idea awesome be back soon all right so we got a bunch more iron now so we might as well crush it up crush everything we have here and that would be that much works for me all right and we have a whatchamacallit now yeah that's right a whatchamacallit an anvil we got a Jim the Anvil Nightheart. Is there anything we can do here? We can. We might as well set that up. All right, well, let's see what we can make with the anvil. Before we do that, though, if you're enjoying this video, please like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Thank you. All right, the anvil. What do we got? We need to be in a room. That's fine. We can do that. Bank, that doesn't help us. We're playing single player. Ooh, Brazier. Nice. Skill value 1.2. Nice, nice. Okay, cast iron stove. We may, we may make that. We can make it. If we wanted. But we would need cooking then. It doesn't do us any good if we don't take the cooking skill. Copper pipe, what is that for? Oh, it's a pipe for transferring liquids. You probably should have known. Currency exchange does nothing. Oh, no tools. New tools is sweet. Ooh, iron rock drill. What is this? A use tool for prospecting blocks. Oh, is this a thing where you use it and it tells you what's like in the 20 blocks directly below you, I think? Iron saw blade. I'm assuming that's used for making like a saw table or whatever. More tools. Mint doesn't do us any good. Nails, I assume. That'll be it. Oh, Sam, that's what I was talking about. The saw blade. That needs power. Alright, so that noted. We need more power. Okay. We're going to have to make one of those. For sure. That needs to be uh, pretty high on our priority list. And advanced smelting. We're not worried. Oh, more tools, though. Advanced smelting is on our list of skills to get, but it's not high. Pretty sure pottery and cooking. And I'm not sure about the order. Could flip them. I'm not sure which one I'm doing first. There's some cool stuff on there that we're going to have to do. But what I'm thinking about doing is learning pottery. It's uh, five hours for our next skill, but we could sleep for that. So pottery lets us make brick. Which is the next tier of building material. So I want to redo our base, or not a whole base, the house part, this part, over here, these four rooms, these are fine. We'll leave them as they are for now. Eventually we're going to want to replace them with brick and whatnot, but for now they're fine. This room though, needs to be changed. So what I was thinking of doing is a wholesale huge change, potentially. This is just potential stuff. Uh, is what we'll do is instead of have the ramp go up at about so we've gone down one two three four so at this point instead of going ramps it goes straight it goes into a tunnel in that tunnel there's stockpiles on each side and the room with the crafting stations is above the stockpiles and then there's additional stockpiles outside the room with the crafting stations the crafting room the industrial room whatever you want to call it that's like my my big picture plan. 
but that's uh that's not a small job obviously so i'm not sure if i want to <laughs> take that on right this minute and we do need we would need go pottery like i said we would also need a bunch of clay and more mortar and we have some clay but not a lot and I, but i don't know where clay just seems to randomly be in the ground i don't know if there's a rhyme or reason to it so like this is clay that's dirt right but i don't know why this so uh, i don't have a consistent source of clay to my knowledge right now so i kind of want to get that before i get too you know hard into the pottery we'll just stick the anvil there for now uh Actually, does that allow us to actually make stuff on it? Yes, except we're not close enough or anything, but that's fine. And then we'll, you know, if we do this room, we can organize, you know, which stockpiles get output from which machines, and we can organize it much better. But like I said, it's a big job, so I'm going to... Right now, I'm going to put the limestone in there. Uh, so we got some more tailings. I'm going to take the tailings down to the, to the, to the pit. Uh, probably grab some more iron when I'm down there, and then uh, maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll make a decision about what we're doing. All right, so I made the decision to learn pottery. Problem is, in order to learn pottery, where is it at? Here it is. So, five geology basic, easy. Five geology advanced, easy. Sorry, three, and then three engineering advanced, not easy. You go up and you look at engineering, you need a windmill, or a windmill, sorry, and a water wheel. Water wheels we can do. Problem is, in order to make windmills, we need cloth. Yeah, cloth. In order to get cloth, we need to learn tailoring. I was really not hoping, tailoring was not on my list of things to learn. I'll be honest, it was nowhere near the top. So we threw together a tailoring bench. I was hoping maybe you could make cloth without actually learning the tailoring skill. And also this room is now absolutely full. We cannot fit anything else in here, so we really need to expand it. And cloth needs tailoring one. So we can't, we can't make cloth. Yeah. So I think I'm going to have to learn tailoring because I want pottery. Although, to be fair, looking at tailoring, there's a lot more things here than I thought there would be. There will be useful things. There's some furniture. There's backpacks. There's stuff like this, for example. Uh, decreases calorie calories consumed when using tools by 10%. Increases max carry weight by 5 kilograms. Um, then there's, there's a couple of backpacks. This one looked interesting, too. Increases movement speed, increases max carry weight by 5 kilograms. And obviously there's like couch, there's some appearance items which don't matter because I'm playing solo and nobody can see me anyway. But there's quite a few uh, furniture items. So I'm going to learn tailoring. Anyway, that's the moral of the story. So let's see what we need to learn tailoring. This better not be anything hard or I'm going to be upset. Alright, basic research. We can do basic research easily. Gathering research paper basic. That should not be hard. We just need plant fibers and any raw food. Well, we can do that quite easy. I will be back once we have the tailoring book. All right, the tailoring skill book is being cooked up there now. Uh, we just need, all we had to do was we had to go get some uh, plant fibers. That was all we had to do really. While that's cooking up, I'm gonna take these tailings down to the pit. Where is our cart? There it is. Load up the old cart. So we'll take these down to the pit. We'll come back. Tailoring book will be done. Then we get to we'll have to learn tailoring. Then we'll do the pottery book. So we're going to have to sleep for quite a bit. But actually, you know what? Before we sleep, I'm going to make a couple of those furniture items that are at the anvil. See if we can get a little XP boost before we sleep. That'll make the XP go even faster, hopefully. So that's the plan. We'll be back. All right, so we made some fancy new furniture over at the, uh, whatchamacallit? Yeah, that's right, the whatchamacallit. It's not a whatchamacallit, it's an anvil. Oh, that ceiling. 
goes on the ceiling. Our score has not gone up at all, though. So that's not good. No, really? No, no raise in score? Ooh, do I gotta light them all? Oh, well, what's it need for fuel? Do I really need to put wood in there? Alright, let's go get some wood. Fuel these up. Maybe then our score will go up. Better. Better go up. We need all that XP we can get. So we can take a nice nap. Uh, yeah, I went up four points. Alright, so let's go grab some more wood for the other ones then. Every little bit helps at this point. Actually, can we split this stack? Just take half. And then come back for the other half. No. <laughs> Can't you so what do we use to fuel a candle? I wonder. I don't know. That's something to worry about another day. Today we're going to bed for about four hours. Can we get this up any? Ah, uh, that went down. That went the wrong way. Yeah, back up where we were. All right, <laughs> right back where we started. All right, so I'm gonna go to bed. We'll be back once I have enough for my uh, tailoring skill point. So I decided to sleep long enough to get two skill points. So that's what I did. Uh, so our next skill point won't be for another 10 hours. Meteor impact in 26 days, nine hours. I am okay with that snooze. I'm more than okay with that. So let's take tailoring. All right, so we got tailoring now. Yeah. That was not part of the plan, but had to be done. So we needed like 24 cloth, I think. We need three windmills and it's eight per windmill, I wanna say. Yeah. All right, so that's a nine and a half minute job. So while that's doing that, I'm probably gonna go down and uh, mine some iron. I'll be back. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we have the pottery skill book. Right here. And we have pottery discovered. Beautiful. So now we... Oh. <laughs> we actually have to take the skill. That helps. Pottery. Let's go. Get out of the way, tooltip. Yes, pottery. Permanently... All right, so now our big thing is going to be making brick. Oh, we're out of mortar. That's a good first step. All right, so that means we're going to have to go to the beach. We're going to have to shovel up some sand. We're going to have to go on some clay hunting missions as well, I'm sure, at some point. Maybe get some clay, depending on how our uh, clay hunting missions go. We will see. That will be in the next episode, however. That's all for this one. I feel like we accomplished a lot. Next one, though, like I said, it'll be brick, and then we're going to redo our whole industrial machine room. It needs to change. I'm sick of this <laughs> disorganization that I have right now. It's got to go. So in the next episode, that's the plan. If you enjoyed this one, please like and subscribe. Be good to each other, and I'll see you in the next one.